Police in London are wasting no time in rounding up people suspected of taking part in the recent four days of riots and confiscating looted articles. Another person has died of their injuries sustained during the unrest, bringing the total number of deaths to five. Using evidence from CCTV cameras, the suspects are being identified and then rounded up at home. More than 1,200 people have been arrested so far and courts are sitting around the clock to deal with the cases. In Britain's second city, Birmingham, a giant TV screens showing riots footage to identify suspects. What we're trying to do is to ensure that the public who know who these people are, who've committed the acts of mindless violence and, and damage and criminality within our city are held to account and brought to justice. Prime Minister David Cameron is coming under his first real pressure since gaining office after the police criticised him, saying their reaction to the unrest had been inadequate. He's refusing to scale back planned cuts in police manpower, while the opposition leader, Ed Miliband, is demanding he reconsider. 